No response means no objection. Like in the top left side of the show. map! No nope, Trish, in the like top it. left side of the map! I'm right, you're wrong, it's gonna be... <laughs> the Orange Protoss, Siegfried. Who I'm just gonna call Siegfried because that little eye in the middle is... gonna throw me off a lot. In the bottom left, as the green Zerg, he is... Penguin. Here's what we'll do. If Sig... Siegfried, Siegfried, Siegfried wins this game. That will earn him the right of acknowledgement, and thus I will ask him how to pronounce his name correctly, and forever make sure to say it correctly. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's that's what we're gonna go with. All right then. You know what's funny about the Sherlock Holmes motif, actually, to start off the series that you brought up. What? Benedict Cumberbatch, who plays Sherlock Holmes, can't say penguin. This is penguin. penguin. <laughs> penguin. Well, he's actually a good actor. I can't say he's a bad one. Right? You look at the guy, and this one blows me away. If you look at him, he doesn't look like he would have a good voice or be a good actor. He just looks like a weird dude. But the second he opens his mouth, you're like, bravo. <laughs> bravo. <laughs> it's nice to meet well you. Well done for being British. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, <laughs> cheater accent. We've been over this, right? <laughs> Okay, um, uh, anyways, before we get too far into the game, just quick, uh, you're watching the 10 qualifiers. I think that should be pretty obvious from the uh, banner down here. BTTV.ting.com if you guys want to learn more about Ting. We'll go throughout what Ting is as the day goes on, as uh, this is only the first cast of the day after all. Uh, yep. So what I was worried about for Sig... Freed, Sigafrad, yeah, is there's a very popular all-in going around that is fairly easy to execute. It's early, it's going to win you a game a lot of the time, and it looks like Penguin is setting up to do it, so oh. I am quite worried for our protest friend here. Yeah, so Overlord drops on Arena have been becoming a lot more popular. I'd say there's two, the two, because there's really two directions I could go. I wasn't looking at the production tab while you were talking. Um, one is like the Roach Ravager all-in, which is proving more and more difficult. Uh, you missed it during the finals, but when we had Lambo on for the winner's interview after the random vs. random tournament yesterday, he told us just how, how easy it is to tell your opponent you're going Roach Ravager on this map and still pull it off. But uh, that's not the direction this goes. Of course, you're referring to the Overlord drops. And we first saw Soul Key do this, which I thought was hilarious. But uh, the thing that works out so well about this is you bring queens with it. So you actually have a way to tear down the Mothership core. There's a Void Ray coming, and if the Void Ray was out and intercepts the Overlords, it turns on their prismatic alignment, and maybe these die with all the queens inside of them. Maybe Penguin does this a lot on this map, so Sigfrey kind of knows what to expect. However, the timing's not going to work for him. Not perfectly, at least. Oh, actually, Penguin! Those are the queens! Oh, uh, I get the queen out. Okay. Yeah, that was the that was part close. Oh, he didn't lose um, one. He could have picked it up and saved it. Overcharge. Yes, he's unloading he into the overcharge. These things are just dying on arrival. Now he does it's take out the, the uh, void ray. And not quite the militia for. It's lings in the front too, as there's no wall off. So that's kind of a guaranteed nexus kill. He just, just picks lings over there. The queens are so slow off a of creep. You can just use the overlords to move the queens around. Hell yeah. But uh, pick them up. Yeah, he lets one die. Uh, the lings are starting to get in now. Another void is on the way. This is already doing a ton of damage for Wait. Penguin. And Siegfried is going to lose. Oh, he's got two pylons. But it, that's the, how is that one not powering the Stargate? Are you serious? Are they both European? I don't know. Are they? I thought you said Siegfried like has signed up for a lot of the European tournaments. Well, that was my guess. I didn't. Like, I don't. Oh, know. and then Penguin says they play a lot. Yeah. Okay, I'm just wondering why they're on the EU server because I was wondering if there was any delay. Woman, please. For the queens. I was like, that, what's the importance of this? Like. <laughs> <laughs> He's good it point, can't though. be important. Like, no, no, that's that's I a mean, good point. What well, busy hyping up the void ray, the pylon going down? And you're like, oh, is it European? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Yes, yes, very no. hype. The void ray is an out. Look at that. No, no, okay, you're right though. Like that's that is a good point. Like in, in actuality, like if they are both European, they should probably both play on the European ah. server. Uh, regardless of this though, Siegfried is in a lot of trouble. The Nexus is gonna go down. He already lost a bunch of probes through this, and of course that void ray going down and. No gateway units means no counterattack. Yeah. The uh, Stargate still has the Chrono on it. Aww. Well, the Nexus was pretty much doomed as it had nothing protecting it. Not really any pylons, no SimCity, not even probes to pull at it. So that was almost a freebie. Penguin's macro has taken a turn for the worse, I guess. Uh, well, <laughs> he was he's, making he's 1,200 now. minerals. 
that yes, he is droning now. It is it is better than not droning at all. But uh, this could have been a situation where he did already have like three bases and fifty drones, um, as much as he's banking. But of course, his queens went with the all in, and ideally you would just end the game with it, you know? And maybe he could have, had he not unloaded into uh, the uh, Poison Overcharge. Even with the bad macro behind it, floating minerals or whatever aside, like, I, I still think he's going to win this game off the back end of it. The, the Siegfried still doesn't have a natural base down. He doesn't have the money to throw a natural base down, and he's sitting on 18 probes. Oh, I, I don't disagree, but uh, Penguin's... Penguin's macro is explained by the all-in that he chose. Yeah, um, this is dead man walking. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the uh, follow-up of the uh, melee is uh, interesting as well, but it does make sense if he's going to stick on lings. And Penguin is a muta ling. That's it, actually. Muta ling type of guy. <laughs> Not even pain lings, really. Uh, when it comes uh, to Protoss. So it doesn't really surprise me that he would go ahead and use these, uh, these ling attacks, all That's lings, right. the, the melee upgrade, and then go into a spire and just completely skip a roach worm. I don't know how I always forget, but it's like, Penguin Mutalus, huh? Well, yeah, he likes to base trade a lot. <laughs> like, somehow, this yep. factoid does not stick in my brain, even though we see it almost 100% of the time we cast him. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, that's a lot of lings, and they are going to go towards that nexus, look for another cancel. I mean, that is lings with plus one as well, so they can take on uh, a group of units pretty well. Force Fields would save uh, Siegfried's units this time, but certainly not if he was going to attempt anything else. If he attempts to move it out, Lings would cut his adept. If he attempted to take a third base, Lings would kill that third base. I mean, there's actually the, nothing going here for our Protoss friend. Yeah. The plus one weapons, of course, if Siegfried's out of position for even a moment, that's when the Lings really shine. They just get on that Nexus and take it down in a second. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. So well, I'm going I'm to kill Sulky, I swear to God. Why Sulky? So, I, I, before we got through the cast today, I announced the groups for Ting. And I, like we said at the start of the cast, those are public. A couple of the dates don't work for people, obviously, and that was to be expected. But I told Sulky, like, okay, well, uh, he's got Star League on the 18th, so we'll have to move his day. And it's like, okay, yeah, sure, fine, we move later. And now he's, like, asking me, like, 19th, 20, 21, 22, 23. I'm like, dude, I'm casting right now. I'll message you later. He's like, oh, okay. 23, question mark? I'm like, <laughs> Message you tomorrow. He says, okay, 22 question mark. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding. This is so frustrating. Maybe he knows that he's bothering you. I think. We're not that good at friends, I don't know much about Sulky. I don't know. But I really would, it would really please me if he ended up being, like, a little trickster. A little cheeky, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, I feel like most Koreans are kind of cheeky by nature. You look at somebody like Krang, for example, and that's, that's how I imagine the average <laughs> Korean when it comes to, like, <laughs> attitudes, I guess. The difference is everyone just looks really polite at night, or polite and nice. Whoa, that was polite. a weird mix up. <laughs> polite, police, police! <laughs> everyone looks good. really polite and nice because when you don't know the language, you can't actually be rude, right? Like, you can't be cheeky. That's true. MC tried, but then he learned English. Yeah, MC just like, you know what? I like being a badass instead. <laughs> God, that's so many lings out of Penguin. Uh, so, again, keep in mind, guys, even with force fields cutting these off, these, these links can tear through a lot of units. And whether it's denying a third or just getting towards these mutas, and I really do think once those mutas spawn, it's going to be the end of the game. Because Siegfried appears to have forgotten who he's playing against and has no anti-air. Well, I think that's... he. Maybe he remembered, and that's why he opened up Stargate, or maybe he thought it was a good idea versus the, the over the drop, I'm not sure. But then, yeah, maybe he forgot as the game went on. I mean, honestly, Penguin has taken his time getting up to the mutas. You know, there was nice. the, the macro in the first place, and then the lair came down, and he waited a while to get the spire, and now they're on the way, but um, he is in a winning position. So as much as we can, like, jab him about like his macro mistakes or whatever, he has won this game, and these mutas are just going to actually like force city free to gg right and I, I hate i hate doing that like this is the worst part of a cast when you're like oh the game's over and then it goes on for like five more minutes and it's over but it's just like then what do you talk about for the next ah. uh, who's it uh, i love cats to death cats does that a lot cats will be like oh build order like five minutes in no it's over and like he'll be right about it but it's like dude then like why why you why did you automatically make the next 10 minutes so boring but that's oh. kind of what happened here, unfortunately, and Penguin will take the first game. Also, Epi 